Now, the University of Nairobi has defended its decision to increase fees and accommodation charges, stating that the move is meant to help generate revenue. Speaking to this station, UN's Corporate Communication Manager John Orindi has said the accommodation fee was increased in order to improve the state of the university's hostels. He said this during the UN's graduation ceremony that was for the second time done virtually. Flora, Flora, <laughs> let me say that again. Flora Limuki with more. For the second year running, the University of Nairobi has conducted its 65th graduation ceremony virtually. Today, more than 4,000 students graduated. The oldest, a 76-year-old Professor Simeon Lesirma, the former member of parliament of Samburu West, who has graduated with Doctor of Philosophy degree in Environmental Governance and Management. I like education, you know, um, continuous education. Is, is, is part of life and uh, I like to improve the lives of the people you know who lives around me and without taking care of, of the environment in the current situation of global warming right, climate change we face a lot of challenges. My research was on application of what we know about the structure of the body and specifically I was looking at the structure the form of the hand in relation to how the hand functions. So that was the basis of my, my research, which was to apply the knowledge of anatomy to everyday work. At the same time, in response to the recent fee increment and accommodation charges, John Orindi, the corporate communications head at the university, has revealed that the move is meant to cater for administration costs. So what we want to do is to give the students the quality service in the rooms. We want to maintain the rooms well. We want good people to do cleaning. We want to buy detergents so that the rooms are well maintained. So we just introduced these ones to support learning, administrative cost, uh, to support learning. But the fees uh, for tuition fees. The University of Nairobi is focusing on collaboration with strategic partners to tackle learning challenges brought about by the effects of COVID-19 pandemic and further spur a 100% virtual learning transition. The threads for delivery of teaching and learning in the higher education institutions will continue to shift to more enhanced use of technology. In efforts to enhance researchers and innovators in the country, Rebecca Hutchinson, the Deputy Vice Chancellor for Research and Enterprise Research at the University of Nairobi, says that the institution is set to host an educational research week. The outcomes from the research are going to drive policy. So we are trying to connect to ensure that the technologies that come out of the, the research are also translated into changing the lives, social, economic and also political lives in our communities. There's no immediate plan on when normal learning will resume in one of the oldest institutions in Kenya. Today, the University of Nairobi has marked its 65th graduation ceremony, a ceremony that has been unique in its own way since most of the graduates studied virtually and some have actually graduated virtually due to the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. Flora Limuki, Switch TV, Nairobi. That is flora. Now, you know where I come from. We do not have flora. We say flora. So you'll understand where I'm coming from. Sweet.